Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about all of my high-end favorite foundations. Um, I have a few to talk about. I have 15 high-end um, high foundations, but I'm not going to talk about all of those. Um, I'm just going to talk about the ones that really stand out to me. So, uh, let's get started. The first foundation I'm going to talk about is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. This is a matte foundation. I'm in shade 35, and I would say it's a full coverage foundation. Um, this is great for oily skin girls, and dry skin girls, I think you can wear this, but you have to really exfoliate and moisturize as well. Um, this foundation was not my favorite foundation at first. In fact, I bought it, I took it back to the store, and I thought, you know what, there's so many girls that love this, let me just give it one more go. I bought it again, and I love it. Oh, and this one is $36. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I am in shade 3W1 Tawny. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. You can kind of sheer it out, um, but you can definitely build it up. This is a, I'd say a demi-matte um, finish. I really like the way it looks on my skin the longer I wear it. Um, so I'll apply it in the morning. It looks great. But by the time it's been four hours, eight hours, I just keep, it just looks better and better. Um, I wore it a few days ago, and I could not stop looking at myself in the mirror. I love this. It doesn't normally come with a pump. This is a Smashbox pump. Um, but yeah, I love it, and this is $38. The next foundation I want to talk about is very comparable to the Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, and this is the Lancome Tint Adol Ultra 24-Hour Makeup. I'm in shade 230, um, but it's a little light for me right now. Um, it does come with a pump, and it is a medium coverage foundation. You can build it up on some spots, but um, I would suggest just leaving it medium and using some concealer to cover up any blemishes or redness. Um, I love it. It stays all day. I wouldn't say it's a 24-hour wear, but it's pretty good. And this one, oh man. I think this one is around $45. I'll leave all of the information in the description box below. The next foundation that I really like is a MAC foundation, and this is the MAC Matchmaster foundation. I'm in the Intensity 2.0. The great thing about this foundation is that um, you just have to get in your shade range, so you don't have to know the exact color. Um, the technology in this actually um, will match your skin. So this looks a little orange at first and then once you work it into the skin it really blends in and looks great. It's a medium coverage. I'd say it's a satin finish. It lasts a good amount of time. I'd say at least your whole work day and maybe an hour or two after that. Um, again it's 2.0. This is $35 and comes with a pump. The next foundation I want to talk about was my beloved foundation. It was my Holy Grail foundation, and I just started getting into checking out more foundations, so it's kind of not gotten much love for me, but it is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Foundation, and I am in shade 2.3 and 2.1. Um, it just varies, and mixing them together is the perfect shade. Um, this does last, last 15 hours, I'd say, and it is... Um, very hydrating. Oily girls can still wear it though because I'm combination and I go either way. So I'm either combination dry or combination oily. This is great whenever I'm a little bit more on the drier side because it has hyaluronic acid which helps um, moisturize your skin and keep it looking fresh. Um, this one is $42 I want to say and I love it. The next foundation, oh hi! This is Tristan. Say hi, Tristan. Okay, sit down. Let mommy finish, okay? Thank you. The next foundation I want to talk about is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm in shade 4.0. I love this. Yeah, hold on, baby. Okay, let me finish, okay? Okay, I will in just a second, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is a very lightweight foundation. This is like a go-to foundation. It looks very poreless on the skin, and my boyfriend compliments me every single time I wear this foundation, so you know this foundation's good. 
And then the last foundation I want to talk about is a pricier foundation. It's a new foundation, but I have fallen in love. And it is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This foundation is full coverage. Um, it is $48. I'm in shade, shade Punjab. And um, a little goes a long way. This can look very cakey if you apply too much. So I suggest um, applying one pump to one half of the face and another pump to the other half. And um, yeah, it lasts all day long. I'd say it lasts a good 12 hours. Um, but yeah, so these yeah. were all of my favorite high-end foundations. Soon I'm going to have a video of all of my favorite um, drugstore foundations. I hope you found this video helpful. And um, please subscribe and like the video. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.